Okay, I'm at 11150 Sailbrook Drive in Riverview. Just give you a little panoramic view. This is a uh, four bedroom, two bath pool home with a three car garage, a little under uh, 2,100 square feet. I think it's like maybe 2,050 thereabouts. One day on the market asking 269. Says on the uh, MLS it's vacant, show any time. But uh, I just put, peeked my head in, and this house is very much fully furnished with uh, a fridge full of stuff. So it does not feel very vacant to me, but there is nobody here. So let me go ahead and just shoot the video. When you walk in, basically, this is by design your formal area. Where you see the pool table is normally where you might put a uh, formal dining room table. Obviously a little more casual here with the pool table. This right here is your kind of your formal living area. Does have kind of tall ceilings, does have popcorn. But the tall ceilings uh, doesn't make it, doesn't make it feel spacious. The flooring, it looks like it's wood. You can see there's a little bit of fading there. So wood it does start to do that, laminate not quite as much. But it is, <clears throat> it's nice. Has the uh, accent wall, the dark accent wall. Looks like master's through there. I'm just gonna kind of walk around the house. Like I said, I'm a little stunned that this, this is all furnished. Uh, I thought it was a vacant house. Yeah, I just don't think it's vacant, right? So it's, you see all the stuff still here. So it's on a golf course. You see a nice uh, view of the golf course. And then you have a little uh, breakfast nook area here. They definitely have a lot of different accent walls and colors. Stainless steel appliances. So you can see. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, it's really food, more like drinks. Seems like it's a it's an area, a house of uh entertainment. So So I'll do the master after, but we'll do down here at the end of the of the the back of the house of so the additional bedrooms. You have a bathroom here, it acts as a pool bath. This is one of these upgraded um, type of blinds where it's inside the glass and then you can change it with these, uh, these gauges. But the, the uh, blind is actually inside of the, the glass. So it's a nice upgrade. Your, your uh, vanity is still pretty original. It is a full bath, you know, still old tile work. It does have a linen linen closet. Lots of toiletries. I would say this house is looks pretty occupied, unless it's like some type of a corporate thing where people, you know, it's ready for someone to be able to stay or an Airbnb or something. That looks like a pool heater to the uh, to the pool. Ceilings are uh, fairly tall. It does have a, a little ceiling fan there, but decent height. Definitely have a lot of different colors, right? It's a little kind of a lime green here. Mostly earthy colors, except for that, that one room. Okay, so take you to the uh, master your thermostat looks like it's pretty modern you know this house I don't have the sheet in front of me it was probably built in the 90s that's kind of when this area was established so this house is probably <coughs> 25 30 years old it does have a nice master pretty tall ceiling that's a master bed a, a um, king-size bed decent walk-in closet lots of furniture lots of clothing and shoes. So you have double sinks. 
that is a skylight right there. So it's nice to have a little bit of a light without using an energy bill. Has a soaking tub and then it has shower. Once again, the vanity is you know, kind of dated, can always be updated. And I guess that's it. And then, of course, you had your, like I said, the walk in closet. Garage. It's nice to have the three car garage, lots of space here. You see they use one bay for the golf course. That's pretty cool. You can drive basically right onto the course in your backyard. Have a hot water heater. It is a block house. You can see the block wall there. So it's always nice to have a, a one-story block house. Very safe with hurricanes. You get pretty good discounts on insurance. And I'll show you the backyard. Just to kind of show you again, kind of living room area. So if you're basically lounging around, they have the TV right here, fireplace. So, uh, of course, they have all the chairs there in the kitchen. So Lanai, some people would put a cover right here just to have a little bit of rain protection. I guess maybe that's what this here is for, but you could put something that's more pr protected. You certainly have space with this Lanai to have all this under roof if you wanted when it storms. But they, it's all bug free, you know, it's all caged, but it's just not under a, uh, a cover. So it's a Pebble Tech type pool. You can kind of see a little bit of the granules. Looks like it still has some life to it. It does not look bad at all. It's a more modern pool because you see the two returns there. Like in the early 2000s, they started changing where you have to have the two returns instead of the one. So it tells me it's a more modern pool. Uh, has a spa to it. And like I mentioned, this black heater there, that's for the pool. And uh, most likely it heats just the spa, which is what you want. Because if you heat this entire pool, it's expensive. If you heat just a little spa there, it's it's not as expensive. So that's usually what they, they heat. I would have to look up tax records just to see age of roof and AC. I don't have that offhand. Doesn't look bad at a glance. Like I said, these homes are probably somewhere in the high 20s, early 30s years year old. Usually a roof will last 20. So these roofs are probably all midlife on their second life. You know, they've all, probably all been replaced and they're probably midlife with maybe you know eight to twelve years going on on, the, on its current life. So so yeah, that's overview of the house. I hope I'm just trying to lock this door. And I'm doing horrible at it. Yeah. You can see it has these little sliders here for privacy. I'll leave it the way I found it, but you know, it does give you the privacy blinds. So if you like what you see, I'd be happy to get you back in here. Like I said, I got instant approval, instant okay to come in. It says it's vacant. I do question if someone's here um, or someone lives here. Maybe I caught them all the right way at work, but, uh, but anyway. If we do uh, come back, I'll just kind of double check with the agent. I just don't want to startle somebody and show up when it says it's vacant and show any time. And then this particular subdivision, it's called Summerfield. It's probably the oldest one in Riverview. Um, it's not as, as expensive as other places. I want to say it might be, I don't know, four or five hundred bucks a year. It is a golf course community, obviously with the golf course in the backyard. Has a, has a community pool to it. And, um, you know, if you, if you golf, it's an extra fee, but the pool is inclusive and 
it's not a gated community, so the fees are, are not very high. But uh, that's basically what this is, a summer field. Pretty close to the highway and all the amenities as well. All right, well, this concludes, concludes my video for 11150 uh, Sailbrook in Riverview. Bye.